everybody, so today I'm going to do a review on the Erin Condren Teacher Planner. This is the one that is sold at Target. It's an undated planner. It's $31.99. Um, that's versus the dated Erin Condren Planner, which is sold for $60. And I think the biggest difference is, obviously, it's dated. And you would get with the $60 one, you get like the, like the ruler. I think a pocket folder, which is nice to have, I'm not going to lie, the pocket folder. And then you would have like maybe the zipper pouch that you put like some stickers and stuff in. But I don't think it's worth the extra $30. So for me, I don't know, I go with this one. This is actually the third year I bought this one. Okay, so when you open it up, you have your dashboard. And this is, like all Erin Condren planners, you can take this off and put a different one on. And since this is the third time I've bought this, I do like some of my other covers better. I'm not sure if I like the inside as much, so I'm going to check them out and see. And I might use like one of my covers from last year. I don't use this much as a dry erase. I kind of use, like, we'll put little sticky notes on there all the time, like notes to myself. And then here we have the who it belongs to. I like the colors of this. This is why I keep kind of going back to this planner because I was looking on Amazon for some dated ones. Um, one of the ones I was going to maybe get was the Global Elon Global Deluxe Planner for $40, which is dated, but I did like the colors of this one better. So you have your school information. I like that they have professional development dates here so I can list all those out. My goal is we go back next week for PD and then school starts in two weeks. So my goal is to get this done in the next few days, put all the stickers in for the dates and write all these dates down, go through and write everything down so it's kind of ready to go. Um, here you have your classroom events and dates. I don't have volunteers in high school. I think that's more of like maybe an elementary thing. Communication log, um, this is really handy to have. We have to log on PowerSchool every time we talk to a parent. But I think it's nice to have this here so I'm not having to get my computer. I can just have a quick reference like, oh, I called so-and-so's mom. Did I call their mom or dad? And you know, for what did I call them for? What happened as a result of the phone call? Here, I believe if you have the dated planner, this is like the months, like kind of year at a glance, and these are dated but you can use this for whatever you want. Over here, you can have your, um, well, this is for like seating charts or you can be tracking different things and assessments and stuff. As a special ed teacher, I want to maybe put in my kids' dates because as a special ed teacher, I have PPTs, I have triannuals, I have testing to do, and they're all like state laws that I have to do them in a certain time frame, or, you know, we can get in trouble for that. So I do usually have kind of an Excel sheet, but again, it might be nice to have this in here so everything's kind of like in one spot. So I might be putting like all my kids and then put like when their, you know, annuals are, when their triannuals are and stuff like that. And then I can cross off as I get them done throughout the year. I don't really do seating charts because I do teach high school and I let them generally pick their seats unless, you know, let them sit where they are. But CD charts are kind of good in the beginning of the year to learn their names because I do get a lot of students. And then we have our blank note pages, which again are great to have. And then here is the beginning of the month. So they're kind of color coded and you'll see that I'll show you when I get to the dated stickers, how they're all color coded. And again, I like the colors of this planner. You have your dates to remember. This is nice because again, you have your PPT, I have PPTs, but even if you're not a special ed teacher, you're going to have, you know, conference dates. I have, you know, staff meetings we have, department meetings. I'm on a committee. I'm on a council. So I have subcommittee meetings. So it's great that every month I can see when my meetings are and right there. Here you would, they have stickers. I'll get to those. And you pop the stickers in for every day and your monthly spread. Here are your, you know, your weeks. So the way the Erin Condren Planner is set up, and a lot of them, when I've seen them, the dates are like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday here, and then you would have like your periods or your classes um, this way. However, the way this is set up, you have your, I do my periods this way, 
you know, my period one, period two, period three, I, we teach five classes. And then this I use for notes generally, if I called the parent or if I tested somebody, I need to write, when I do my testing at the end, I have to write a report. I need to know what days I tested that person because it all goes into the report. And then I would do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday here. So the days of the week this way and then my periods are this way. And then we have those for every month. Again, one of the reasons I go back to this planner is because I just like the colors that they use and the designs that, that they use. So you can see every month. The nice thing about the undated too is that you can start off with every month that you want because different schools are in different parts of the country start at different places. We start the last week of August. I know other schools in different states start the beginning of August. I don't know if anybody starts in actually July, maybe. Um, I guess some schools might if they're on like different like try schedules and stuff like that. Some people start in September after Labor Day. So you're able to start this any you want and then if you do like a summer school in July you can do that at the end. Like say you do summer school or extended school year. All right. Here's the checklist and this would be some place you can keep track of permission slips, turned in assignments. I don't generally use this. I haven't figured out what I can use this for, so it's blank for me every year. I do like it because it's pretty colors. However, as a high school teacher, I do five classes with four marking periods. So that means I need at least 20 pages of these with my five classes, four marking periods. I'm assuming if you're like an elementary teacher, this is going to work for you because you would have one class of students, so these seven or eight pages is more than enough for an elementary teacher, but it's not enough for us as a high school teacher. So I'm not quite sure what I could use this for. And then we have the stickers. The stickers are nice because they have the foiling in them. Um, I think they're pretty much the same every year. You know, they have grades due. They don't necessarily, do they have enough for like grades are due like four times a year? Um, so it's nice to have those. You have your staff meetings. We have a staff meeting once a month, so I would need, you know, 10 of those. I don't know if there's, do they have 10 of those? They do have some over here too. Um, but they do have IEP stickers. That's kind of cool. Um, so they have different um, PTC, parent-teacher conferences. They have a lot of those. But yeah, they have a lot of IEP, parent-teacher conference stickers, so that's kind of cool. Um, testing, which I do a lot of. And then we have some more of these kind of stickers. We got some birthday stickers, your 50 day, 100 day, last day to do um, conference stickers, field trips, assemblies. You have some of these blank stickers. What I like is they, these look like they fit, let's see. These look like they fit on top of here. However, there's not like one for every day of the year, so I'm not quite sure what to use those for, but they're pretty. And you have these blank ones. I feel like I'm going to use these um, for like my meetings and my PPTs. And then you have your dated number stickers. So these are the ones that you put in for your months. And they are color coded. So if you see here, matches this this color here and you would stick the day stickers in here and they match all the tabs that you get see the tabs so that matches that tab you would put these month stickers here and then you have your tab stickers and the tab stickers would go on the tab and then right there you're kind of with the stickers you're it's just like as if you had a dated planner but you can arrange it in the order that you wanted to so that's kind of why I prefer that as well and then you have your back cover which matches your front cover and it is interchangeable as well as the front cover and so I think what I might do if I can get this all organized in the next few days is I'm gonna actually go in and I'm gonna fill this planner out and that way I can kind of show you how I'm going to set it up. Again, as a special ed teacher, my way is going to be a little different than if you were an elementary teacher or a regular ed content teacher. Okay, so I have gone in and put the stickers throughout the planner um, so that you can get an idea of how it looks. Here is um, for August. I started with August. They usually start with July. You can start in any month you want. 
you can start in September. I just figured I would keep July at the end in case I wanted to do any other notes. Here are the stickers. You pop them in. Um, it did take quite of a while to do. In the past, I did them kind of like a month at a time, but I wanted to get this started. So here's September, October, November. And if you can see, like the tabs have the stickers of the month right there. Um, I probably didn't do the best job of putting them completely centered. January, March, April, May, June, and then July. As an extra, I went in and made my own pocket folder that comes in and out. It's, um, I'm not gonna take too much. I took some cardstock and I laminated it. I took two pieces of cardstock, laminated them together front to back, and then I took two separate pieces here, cut one here, cut one here for the pockets, and then I taped them with tape, packing tape on the bottom. I did put a little washi down here, and then I took the cover off and marked the holes that for right here and using the cover as a template, I put like a Sharpie, I marked them, and then I hole punched them one by one, and then I cut it so that I could take this on and off. And then I have a ruler I took out from an old Erin Condren planner. So basically the only thing I'm kind of missing now, I feel, is um, the pocket pouch, the plastic pouch. Okay, so I'm all ready for school, and there you have it, this is the Erin Condren Undated Planner at Target for $31.99. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.